Now to news that the last commercial sailing fleet in Europe could be under threat of extinction. Sailboats have been used to gather oysters in Falmouth Bay in Cornwall for centuries, but the fishermen say plans to dredge the harbour could ruin them. So that's the sort of oldest bit. From a cheap working class staple, the oyster has been transformed into an expensive delicacy. And for hundreds of years, the oyster men of Falmouth have been harvesting them using just the wind, the sails, and hand-pulled dredges. It's a gentle technique that preserves a finely balanced ecosystem. There you go, there's a perfect oyster. But there's a problem. Plans to attract cruise liners to Cornwall would mean deepening the harbour, and that would involve dredging hundreds of tonnes of silt, some of it contaminated with toxic paint from the port. The oystermen argue the priorities are all wrong. It's been here for 400 years or more. Uh, what we don't know is cruise liner terminals and passenger ships, whether they are sustainable businesses. And you know, with toxic marine-based paints being disturbed in amongst it, there's no guarantee that it will be here after the dredging. And it's not just the oystermen who have concerns. The cruise liners could attract thousands more tourists but some local businesses are keen it isn't at the expense of the Cornish brand. We're bringing people in, we're saying we've got the best produce, we've got the best beaches, we've got the best everything. Um, if we don't actually have that raw product to offer, it's a lie. Falmouth Harbour Commission argue the port needs to evolve to remain viable and say although the dredging is still a proposal, consultants have already assessed the environmental impact. Their conclusions are that this, uh, the dredge, if properly controlled and, and, um, and the, the techniques of dredging and monitoring uh, will be specified, um, should have no significant effect on the oyster fishery at all. There's a should there. Can we, can we guarantee that it won't? I think in terms of um, the available best practice and knowledge, they've got a very high degree of confidence that there would be uh, no effect. But the oyster men who rely on just the wind and the tides aren't convinced by high-tech projections. A decision on whether the port will be dredged is expected in the next few months. Louise Hubble, BBC News, Falmouth.